Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for July 16th, and today we are talking about another birthday. Back in 1965, actress and writer Sherry Stoner uh, was born in Santa Monica, California, and she actually served as the reference model um, for animators for Ariel in Disney's The Little Mermaid and for Belle in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. So when you think of her, you can think of two princesses. How cool is that? But that's not all she did. She's done so much more and continues to do a lot with her career. Um, like I said, she's an American actor actress and animator and writer. She is also the voice of Slappy in the children's tel television series Animaniacs. So she has worked extensively in animation. She was a writer and producer for such 1990s animated shows as Tiny Toon Adventures and Animaniacs. And she is probably best known for Animaniacs for which she created the voice Slappy the Squirrel. Um, a grumpy retired cartoon squirrel. She lives and works in Los Angeles. She co-wrote with um, Deanna Oliver Universal's Casper and was on the writing staff for the 1996 revival of the animated Casper the Friendly Ghost. Um, also known as the Spooktacular New Adventures of Casper. Sterner and Oliver wrote the Disney film My Favorite Martian based on the original 1960s TV series. Um, so like I said at the beginning, she also served as the animation reference model for Ariel and for Belle. So Ariel frequently bites her lower lip and Belle often brushes her hair away from her face. Both of these um, mannerisms are of stoners that animators adapted um, to the characters. Really, really neat. So you can go check her out and um, you know, see how maybe, um, or not maybe, definitely how she has these mannerisms that um, these two princesses have in their films. I just think it's so cool. Um, her live action television work includes reoccurring roles as Rachel Brown Olsen in the ninth season of Little House on the Prairie. You guys remember Little House on the Prairie, right? <laughs> so she was Rachel um, Olsen and then appearances and the like later ones in the ninth season and then appearance in Murder She Wrote and Knott's Landing. Um, I know I watched a lot of Murder She Wrote but I, I remember Knott's Landing but I didn't watch it. Maybe you guys are fan of, fans of Knott's Landing um, out there. Of course tell me down in the comments um, if you remember her. Uh, she worked with Tom Ruger as a story editor also on Disney's D uh, seven, or sorry, sorry, seven D. <laughs> so on the big screen, screen Stoner starred alongside Wendy O. Williams in the 1986 cult film favorite Reform School Girls, and she was also a member of the Groundlings improv improvisational troupe in Los Angeles. Um, and recently I just heard about the Groundlings. I had never heard about that improv group before, but um, that's in Los Angeles and apparently to be part of that group, you're really talented too. So um, not easy, improv is hard in general. So really cool that she's part of that. Really talented lady. And I'm glad that these Disney princesses are based off of her mannerisms. I think it's, um, you know, you don't really think about who's behind, you know, all the animation ideas, but this particular lady, this woman 
is, um, you know, an incredibly hard worker and has provided lots of really cool stuff to the entertainment industry. So I'm glad that she stands as an example of a princess because, <laughs> you know, a lot of young princesses can aspire to some of the great things that she's done for sure. So hopefully, um, you know, little princes and princesses out there will watch and know that, you know, there's so much behind these films and um, so many people who create and build great Disney films and um, we talk about it all the time. Animators, writers, artists, all of these people are what make the film so incredible and so we need more creators, inventors, and writers and examples out there in the world. So if there's young kids out there, I'm hoping you guys are continuing to explore your talents and build them. And even for all of us, you know, I believe that anyone can um, go out there and, you know, do big things and live their dreams at any age. There, it's never too late. Honestly, so if you have a big dream out there, it doesn't matter what age you are, go do it now. Start now, start today. So that's it for this day in Disney. And um, of course, I'd love to hear your comments, especially if you guys are a fan of Sherry Stoner and her works. Um, so that's it for this day in Disney, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.